Welcome to Sacrilegious Discourse. I'm husband. And I'm wife. Together we're reading the Bible for the very first time. We grew up without religion and wanted to know what all the fuss was about. Well, what have we learned so far? That God is a dick, and apparently some people believe in talking donkeys? We're not trying to pass ourselves off as experts. Nope, we're just reading the Bible for the first time and giving our first take reaction. If you'd like to join us in this venture, you might consider starting at episode one. Otherwise, jump in wherever you like. All right, let's go read the Bible. Yeah, let's get to it. Husband! Wife! Do you remember what happened yesterday? A has no longer has a C. <laughs> That's <laughs> correct. <laughs> Not how I was gonna phrase that, but yes, that's exactly what happened. Yeah, yeah. He um, moved shit around, got a new altar, yeah, and got rid of the sea. Now what's? I don't really, know. They, they didn't say he really got rid of it though. They said he took it down off of the off the, the oxen's backs or whatever. So maybe he just like he just put it somewhere else and he's like, I ah, just take the oxen off. Well, what's really funny is I am at um, the part in. Um, uh, what am I trying to say? I have no clue. Okay, so I'm listening to back episodes. Yeah. And because I'm behind in listening, mm-hmm. and I am right at the part where the, the dude is building it. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it's funny. Gotcha. <laughs> it's funny listening to them build it, knowing that, <laughs> that, oh that we're reading it, and the guy is like, "Nah, I don't want this." <laughs> Right, right. So he's like, fuck this, fuck that, fuck these, fuck those. I want to put this over here. <laughs> right, right. Oh, I also had another thought about it, too. Oh, I know yeah. this is the intro, but hang on. Okay. Okay. So they gave almost as much description on the fucking measurements of that sea mm-hmm. tub yeah. as they did on the fucking ark. Yeah. That's ridiculous, considering. I mean, I don't know. The ark was pretty in depth as to what they said about okay that, i was but. listening to the episode today and they were giving a lot of fucking measurements yeah, no, there was definitely a lot of measurements but i feel like the arc was more the arc definitely had more measurements but i'm just saying like the importance of the one as opposed to the other we shouldn't have had those measurements right right i i don't understand what they were trying to say yeah so, anyway, that happened. That did happen. Yeah. All right. So, that was Second Kings chapter 16. It was. And today, we are getting into... Second Kings chapter 17. All righty. Okay. Second Kings chapter 17. Okay. Hoshea, 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 Uh Sure. Okay. Ho, ho, Hosea on one. the highest. <laughs> Okay, Hosea, son of Elah, began to rule over Israel in the twelfth year of King Ahaz's rule, reign, not rule, reign in Judah. Okay. He reigned in Samaria nine years. Not mm, like. That wasn't a real long time. No, and, and not like the reign that comes from the sky. Right. The leadership right. reign. Yeah. He did what was evil in the Lord's sight, but not to the same extent as the kings of Israel who ruled before him. Yeah. I mean, who he's, could? He's a little bit better because those yeah. guys, they suck. They sucked so hard. They did so evil in the Lord's eyes. Yeah, they were the evilest evils. Mm-hmm. How evil did you evil? More evil than this guy. Right? Yeah. King Shalmanes- Shal- Hold on. Let me try this again. King Shalmaneser of... Assyria attacked King Hoshea. So Hoshea was, I keep saying Hoshea, but it's Hoshea. <laughs> I'm sorry. Jeez. There's too many. Look, I'm off my game tonight. I'm not at my best. Um, my tooth hurts. And um, yeah, that's happening. And I'm wanting um, it to stop hurting. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I had it extracted, but it's not healing great. And my appointment is not for another three weeks to get it finished off. Okay. Finish me off. Finish it. Okay. Okay, so anyway, so Hosea was forced to pay heavy tribute to Assyria. Ah, oh, that sucks. Yeah, he lost. Womp yeah. womp. But Hosea stopped paying the annual tribute. Oh, no. And conspired against the king of Assyria. Oh, no, not that. By asking king, so 
of Egypt. So. <laughs> so. To help him shake free of a serious power. Oh, man. Shake your love. I just can't shake your love. I don't even know what song that That's is. That's Debbie Gibson. Okay. I thought you loved Debbie Gibson. Hey, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. Okay. Mr. 80s shun guy. I mean, you know. Shun the 80s. Okay, well, that was Debbie Gibson, okay. and it was a fun pop song. I'm sure it was. Okay. I'm sure it was. When the king of Assyria discovered this treachery, he seized Hosea and put him in prison. Just prison, huh? He didn't prison. kill him? He didn't kill him. That's he just crazy. prisoned him. Yeah. Then the king of Assyria invaded the entire land. Well, sounds like, you know, he was just itching for a fight. Yeah. So... And for three years, he besieged the city of Samaria. Mm. Finally, in the ninth year of King Hosea's reign, Samaria fell. And the people of Israel were exiled to Assyria. Okay. I said exiled, but I think it's exiled. Yeah. They got exiled. Right. They got exed out. Right. They were settled in colonies in Hala along the... (laughs) (laughs) Hala! Along the banks of the Habor River in Gozan. Okay. And in the cities of the Medes. In the cities of the Medes? Medes. Medes. Oh. Medes. Okay. M-E-D-E-S. Medes. Oh. Medes. Me- Medes. I would say Medes. Medes. I would say Medes. Okay. The Medes. Yeah. Okay. This disaster came upon the people of Israel because they worshipped other gods. You know oh, they did. Man. Yep. They sinned against the Lord their God who had brought them safely out of Egypt and had rescued them from the power of the Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. Remember that one time? Yep. Uh, way, 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 way back. Way in the way back? Yep. Yeah. And boy, you never get to live that down. Nope. Remember that one good thing I did for you? <laughs> I mean, I did it shitty. I didn't do a great job at it. Right. But remember that one time I did one good thing? Yeah. Never yeah. forget it, bitches. Never. Even though you weren't there, and even though it was hundreds of years before you were born. Right. They had followed the practices of the pagan nations the Lord had driven from the land ahead of them. He but again, how many times has well. he fucking said that? Yeah. Like, yeah. No, he didn't drive them away because no. they were still there. They're always there. To They're do the practices. They're going to keep being there. Yep, yep. So. As well as the practices the kings of Israel had introduced. The kings oh, of so Israel. Oh, so like the kings of Israel, they're, they're introducing yeah. new practices, huh? I guess. They're like, eh, let's do some other crazy worship shit here. Let's blame let's blame the kings of Israel for the Canaanites. Right, yeah. What? That I doesn't make any fucking I sense. Don't know. The people of Israel had also secretly done many things that were not pleasing to the Lord their God. Yeah. Secretly. Yeah. So secret that the people that wrote this shit know what it was. Well, I how mean, secret obviously was it? God would have to know, right? He knows everything. Well, so. yeah, but how did the people know? And God told them. Oh, did he? No. No. But, you know. Guess what they did. What did they do? They built pagan shrines for themselves in all their towns, from the smallest outpost Wait, to the that, largest walled city. That's not a secret. That's it's not fucking a secret. out in the open. Like, I have to tell you something. Everybody knows. <laughs> they set up sacred pillars and asherah poles at the top of every hill and under every green tree. That still seems pretty obvious yep, to me. We already knew like, this. Yeah, there it is. Oop, there it is. <laughs> they offered sacrifices on all the hilltops, just like the nations the Lord had driven out from the land ahead of them. Except for, Except the, for they, they didn't. They didn't dr- he didn't drive them out. I mean, out. there was that whole thing where they were, like, fighting, you know, and then they were like, and, they and we drove them all everyone. out. And then, like, well, wait, no, we're still fighting them. And then they and never really left because they're still here. They were all wiped out. And then we married some of them. And wait, then, what? And then they keep referencing back to, like, I know. remember when we drove them all out, but we didn't, but we did, but we didn't? Right. And I'm like, wait, what? This book is whack. It doesn't know its own history. Right? So the people of Israel had done many evil things, arousing the Lord's anger. Mm. You know what? When I hear the word arouse, I don't <laughs> think of anger. No. What do you think of when you hear the word arouse? I think of whatever the context brings, you know? Really? Just saying. Are That's, you trying to be better knew, than me right now? I mean, yeah. You heard the word arouse and you knew I was going to I did. get stuck I on did. it. I knew you were going to get stuck on it, yeah. You knew me or you knew the word? I knew you. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, the word arouse. Like, if you just are like, one, two, three, go, arouse. Right. With no context. No, definitely sexual and connotation. See? That's what I'm saying. Right. Okay, yes, they, oh, yes, comma, they worshipped idols. Yes, they worshipped idols. I mean, I'm not, I'm just not. I know. This is not shocking news, guys. bad people. 
despite the Lord's specific and repeated warnings. Yeah, like, God doesn't mean shit to these people. They don't I know, care. They don't give a fuck. They just keep doing what they do. They're like, go ahead, punish us, whatever. We live shitty lives. We don't have Netflix. And they don't really fucking believe in Yahweh. No, they don't believe in any of them. They just want to live their life. I mean, they want to like, eat dinner that night. I they, they might believe that there are greater powers, right? Right. And they might be like... Hey, I'm going to pray to all the gods to see if I can get this to stop. And if it does, they're like, oh, thank you, whichever this god I felt like I prayed god? to more. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And But that's about it. Like, if you can solve my problem, dude, and this is like the, you know, Iron Age, I'm going to be like, hell yeah, man. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool. Right? But mostly they just want to eat dinner and watch Netflix. Seriously. Well, yeah. Or and gladiator they, fights. But they don't have Netflix yet, so that's why right. they're depressed. Yeah. I'm telling you, that's... They got the shoe ceremonies, though. The, the sandal ceremonies. The sandal ceremony and the barley so parties. That, yeah. Again and again, the Lord had sent his prophets and seers to warn both Israel and Judah. <clears throat> quote, turn away from all your evil ways. Obey my commands and decrees. The entire law that I commanded your ancestors to obey and that I gave you through my servants, the prophets. But the Israelites would not listen. They were as stubborn as their ancestors who had refused to believe in the Lord their God. Yeah. Yeah, they were. They did. That's true. Right. Correct. And humanity still is here. And and let me tell you something. They didn't have a lot of reason to not be the way they were. Right. God no, I mean, didn't just really not, yeah. come they, through. There's just nothing special about what's going on. There's, so. there's little prize. There's only punishment. Right. And at that... The little prize that comes now and again is so fucking willy nilly. Yeah. What is the plus? What? Why? What are they gonna get out of it? So that honestly? you might hypothetically avoid famine or something like that, but you can't really attribute that specifically to God because there's like millions of other gods that they're worshiping too. Mm -hmm. So like, what are they supposed to believe? Why are they supposed to trust this one thing? Not only that, but if you're like, okay, I'm gonna believe in you. And that means that we're not going to have famine. Nope, you believe for the wrong reason. So fuck you. The earth will right. swallow you now. Well, and I'm sorry, but like even the the fights that they're having right now, God is back, quote unquote, backing people that are considered evil. So I like, know. why should anybody believe what God says? There's God is being so ingenuous about everything that disin or disingenuous. disingenuous. I'm sorry, you know, I, I yeah. got it. Yeah. Um, disingenuous about everything that it's just not. It's just not worth. It's not worth your it. Your time, you It's know? just not worth it. That, to me, sums it up. It's just not worth it. Right. He's not worth it. Yeah. It's not worth it. They rejected his decrees and the covenant he had made with their ancestors, and they despised all his warnings. I would, too. Yeah. They worshipped worthless idols, so they became worthless themselves. <laughs> Did they? They seemed to have procreated and, and had more kids that continued right, on yeah. and to this very day. Right. You know, mm -hmm. they followed the examples of the nations around them, disobeying the Lord's command not to imitate them. They rejected all the commands of the Lord, their God, and made two calves from metal. Oh, no, not the calves again. Yeah. Yeah. They set up in a Asherah pole and worship Baal and all the forces of heaven. Wait, what? Wait, what? All the yeah. forces of that heaven. That must be some sort of a mistranslation type thing. Either that or um, remember that time when there's more than one God? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. But there's definitely something translation-wise there that's that's uh, wacky. They worship Baal and all the forces of heaven. I mean. All the gods. Yeah, that whole. All of them. The entire group, pantheon group of them. Up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They even sacrificed their own sons and daughters in the fire. They consulted fortune tellers and practiced sorcery and sold themselves to evil. I mean, to be fair, even Solomon, I think, consulted yeah. the fortune teller, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. Yeah. Arousing the Lord's anger. Because the Lord was very angry with Israel, he swept them away from his presence. Did he use a broom? What did he, yeah, how did he do that? Or did, did he, he use a vacuum? Because in Ohio, you say you sweep things, but you use a vacuum when you sweep things in Ohio. Because yeah. Ohio is fucking weird with the way it uses its words. Well, you know, what are you going to do? I'm um, not you saying that, that you're... Sweep that shit under the rug and just keep moving <laughs> on along, you know? You're, you're going to not say that you swept something with a vacuum cleaner. I say it all the time. And I got your sister to admit that it might not be a bad name. Whatever. I'm just saying. No, 
I think my sister was just tired of arguing with you. Well, I think you wore her down. That doesn't the, mean the that she agrees with you. The vacuum brushes do sweep across the carpet. So okay, but you don't. Fucking Ohio, you don't <laughs> call a vacuum cleaner a sweeper. But we do. I know you do, and it's fucking bullshit. Well, that's your Look, opinion. You know what? What? Our child was born and raised in Ohio, and even our child says hell to the no when so it comes just to calling. One, one question about that. Yeah. Who was our child's mother? Me. And how do you feel about the word vacuum versus sweeper? Um, do you think that my child would agree with me just because I'm their mother? Because when it they comes disagree to English, with me. Yes. yes, when it comes to English, because English is English. Because words. Wait, what are you saying? I'm saying that my child would agree with me only when it comes to grammar and the correct use of words, but not because they agree with me because I'm their mom. Well, they do trust your opinion on that, so... But they have corrected me on things before because they are a sure. very smart person. Sure. But, you know, it just is what it is. Well, our child is looking at us, and I think our child agrees with me. I don't doubt it. I heard sweeper and, um, what's it called? Vacuum? Vacuum. Mm -hmm. The different... I use vacuum. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I know. It's a vacuum. I, it's, it's not a, a fucking sweeper, right? You use a broom to sweep the not carpet and the vacuum to sweep the but not the, hardwood. The, 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 the <laughs> brushes on the bottom of the vacuum, they sweep across the floor. Well, so I don't want to hear your bullshit. You can sweep the carpet with I it. I should use it to sweep the stupid off of your brain. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the child has spoken. Yeah. It is not a sweeper. Mm, so okay. he used a broom. God used a broom to sweep them away from his presence. Yeah. Only the tribe of Judah remained in the land. He got rid of Israel. Wait, what? He just he just he just got rid of Israel. Yeah. Israel's gone. Fuck Israel, he said, and swept Wait, them but away. Israel is gone. It's gone. What he does that mean away. exactly? He swept them away. But what does that fucking mean? It just says he swept them away. I don't I don't believe this. I don't I'm just telling he you what it says. He couldn't even fucking sweep away their enemies. <laughs> And now he, he swept away Israel? He swept the whole planet away bullshit. before with a flood. He did. I mean, according to the Bible, he did. But even but. the people of Judah refused to obey the commands of the Lord their God, for they followed the evil practices that Israel had introduced. Wait, now Judah's doing the same fucking shit? But I bet he forgives Judah. And he's Judah. just like, he's like God damn Israel's me. done, but, you know, Judah, eh, I don't know, we'll see. I, I have such a hard time... Keeping Israel and Judah separate and remembering which one is supposed to be, like, the quote-unquote good guy, the good one, mm -hmm. and which one is the bad one. Because, like, they're the Israelites, I got, right? I got a bone to pick here, too. He waited until um, Israel had, like, the, the least bad king uh -huh. to then sweep them away. Yeah. Why? Because. I don't, I don't get it. Because the whole thing is bullshit is why. The Lord okay. rejected all the descendants of Israel. He punished them by handing them over to their attackers until he had banished Israel from his presence. Oh, so he just let them lose at war. Yeah. He, swept he didn't them actually away. like sweep them away. He just, they lost A battles and stuff. And he was like, <laughs> okay. Yeah. He was like, fuck all of you. So that time when he said he, he would always be by their side. He's not. He lied. Well, yeah. Because he had caveats. Well, he does that. Yeah, he's always got caveats. But he doesn't always tell you about the caveats. No, he does not. And he doesn't give them a reason to hold their side of the bargain. Definitely not. For when the Lord tore Israel away from the kingdom of David, they chose Jeroboam, son of Naboth, as their king. But Jeroboam drew Israel away from following the Lord and made them commit a great sin. No, oh, man. And the people of Israel persisted in all the ways, all the evil ways of Jeroboam. They did not turn from these sins until the Lord finally swept them away from his presence. That guy's got such a bad name. Jeroboam. I know, poor I know. guy. Just as all his prophets have warned. So Israel was exiled from their land to Assyria, where they remain to this day day really yeah mm. that's what it says interesting so he gave up on him he turned from his own fucking people he failed i guess he wow what a shitty god your people your your people yeah like you he got sick of it apparently he's like you guys just don't get it man i'm, I'm gonna move along you guys are done you have to believe in me even when i do nothing right so apparently now they're all out there eating babies and yeah Doing all that because that's what happens when God abandons you, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, you're bad. But only to Israelites because the other people 
that live in the world around them, they don't mm-hmm. actually have those same things happen to them. Right. It's just Israelites that it happens to when God abandons them. Yeah. Because the other ones have their gods. But I can't believe... God has nothing to do with those people. I just can't believe that God deserted his own people. I mean, he's he's kind of a crybaby. He's honestly. a crybaby, and he's rude. Yeah. And he's a shit dad. I agree. I agree. I'm I'm very unimpressed with this God. Right. This is not a God I'm going to choose to worship ever. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> if even if I found out that there was such a thing as God, if it was this guy, I'm yeah. not in. Nah. I'm not in. Fuck it. Hey, go Fuck ahead, you. Go Fuck ahead and that. Me. Yeah. Okay. Next section. The king of Assyria transported groups of people from Babylon, Kutha, Ava, Hamath, and Sepharvim. Sure. And resettled them in the towns of Samaria, replacing the people of Israel. They took possession of Samaria and lived in its towns. But okay. since these foreign settlers did not worship the Lord when they first arrived, the Lord sent lions among them, which killed some of them. <laughs> he sent lions among them. Here, lions. He killed some of them. Go eat some it of them. It wasn't like a mass murder or anything. Just some of them died of lions. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Did you hear? Yeah. God sent some lions, and they ate some of them. But... But only to my few. recollection, God sent some lions to eat some Israelites too. So yeah, you know. But what a shitty but God that sends some lions to eat people. There's either lions or there's not, right? Mm-hmm. So I find I wonder if there really were lions in Israel. I don't know because, like, I don't I don't think of lions in Israel. You know. Like, well, I'll be honest. I have very little understanding of what that part of the world looks like. All I see is desert in my brain, and that can't possibly be true. Right. Well, so it's just, I am ignorant, and I have no idea if it's there would be lions. Literally, just like south of Spain and Italy. So. So maybe there could be I, lions. Okay. Maybe. maybe I don't know. I'll look it up. We should look. Yeah, I'm just. I'm just I'll curious. look into like, it and be like. Maybe they're very rare. Maybe they're like you know like they only come that way so every so often. Do you but, think there's tigers and bears? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I just, oh my, I don't, I, oh my yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so a message was sent to the king of Assyria. The people you have sent to live in the towns of Samaria do not know the religious customs of the God of the land. Mm. He has sent lions among them to destroy them because they have not worshipped him correctly. Yeah. <sighs> fucking lions, man. They're just. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm just stuck on. I don't like you people. I'm going to kill some of y'all. What? What? Right. How about if you win them over? How about if you do anything nice at all ever? How about you just present yourself like right at all and prove you know your God, and then I think people would be like, okay, yo. I mean, I, yeah, I'm now, on. Now we're I'm good. In. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. But like it's you know like like today right like we haven't seen anything that god has done for thousands of years for thousands of years if if there ever was that thing right which there wasn't but right. what i'm saying is like what reason do we have to believe in god we have None. no fucking reason and the more and he I wants read us the to bible? do it on faith and then some bullshit in the bible yeah no the bible is bullshit in and of itself yeah. and faith like uh, just a i mean i no 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 it's stupid and no right because Because here's the thing. No. (laughs) You know? Right, right. The king of Assyria then commanded, send one of the exiled priests back to Samaria. Let him live there and teach the new residents the religious customs of the God of the land. So, one of the priests who had been exiled from, exiled, why can't I say that word correctly? Exiled from Samaria returned to Bethel and brought the new residents, oh, taught the new residents how to worship the Lord. But here, this is interesting, right? Mm-hmm. So the Lord is still confined to a certain area. Yeah. Like, apparently, he's only all-powerful. In this one little corner. In this, yeah, in this little corner of the world. And and the Bible even states that. Right. Yeah. And it's just so weird to me. But America is all about him. Right. Well, we've co-opted this God to be the... You know, all powerful of God universe. of the universe. And it's and, like, you guys, but no, read like, he your was Bible. barely a fucking powerful God in Israel, for God's sake. Read sakes. your fucking Bible, yeah. you guys. Because he ain't America. He he really actually kind of despises you. Right. If we're getting right down to it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But these various groups of foreigners also continue to worship their own gods. 
in town after town where they lived, they placed their idols at the pagan shrines that oh, the people man. of Samaria had built. Yeah. Imagine that. They believed their own thing and did their own thing. Right, huh. yeah. Wow, crazy. free people. <laughs> Hate that. From those Babylon worshipped idols of their... Wait, what? Those from Babylon... Sorry. I, <laughs> I'm really having a problem reading tonight. I apologize. Those from Babylon worshipped idols of their god, Succoth Banoth. <laughs> That's... I'm going to be looking that guy that up. I need to name. know more about him. Right, yeah. Those from Kutha worshipped their god, Nurgle. Nurgle? You know what Nurgle? That's also a great name. You know what Nurgle makes me think of? What? Luna Lovegood um, when she saw Nargles. Yeah. Nurgles. Nargles. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. And those from Hamath worshipped Ashima. The Avites worshipped their gods. Oh, this is awesome. I mean, we're just getting all these There's names all these of gods. gods. Yeah. yeah. The war the Avites worship their gods Nibaz and Tartak, and the people from Sepharvaim even burned their own children as sacrifices to their gods Adramalek and Anamalek. Wow, I, that's got to be a relation to that's Molech. You think? Yeah. And maybe they just I don't know had a similar Adram. Like, yeah, I don't Molech. Right. Yeah, and then sure. Anam. Right. Molech. Right, right. You don't think that they're no, related? No, 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 you're probably right. You're probably right. These new residents worship the Lord, but they also appointed from among themselves all sorts of people as priests to offer sacrifices mm. at their places of worship. And though they worship the Lord, they continue to follow their own gods according to the religious customs of the nations from which they came. Which so makes sense. So they just they're worship covering, whatever gods. They're, they're covering, covering their all their bases. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's no God actually presenting themselves. Right. They're just, you know, attributing things that happen in the world to these gods and saying, well, I prayed to all of them, so, like, hopefully. Or they're like, which one is the best one for fertility because right. we need to have right. a baby? Yeah. Which one is the best one for fields because we need to grow some food? Yeah. Which one is the best one for, I don't know, other situations, you right. know? Right, right. That kind of thing. Yeah. And this is still going on today, it says. Mm. And it is. I mean, to some degree. To some degree. Well, I mean, in countries, different countries have different gods. Yeah, but I know? mean, we don't hear a lot about, like, Molex of the world. And, like, there's... No, the, but there's the, different the, the religions gods. have kind of culled down to, like, less religions somewhat. I mean, but there's still a lot of different religions. Sure. With different gods. Definitely, definitely. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. They continue to follow their former practices instead of truly worshiping the Lord and obeying the decrees, regulations, instructions, and commands he gave the descendants of Jacob, whose name he changed to Israel. Well, he got rid of Israel, though, so yeah, who right. fucking cares? Cough. Yeah, For the Lord had made a covenant with the descendants of Jacob and commanded them, do not worship any other gods or bow before them or serve them or offer sacrifices to them, but worship only the Lord who brought you out of Egypt with great strength and a powerful arm. And there has literally been at no point a time when that has happened. Right. Not once. Right. Right. Like only because like people yell at them like Moses was really, you know, yelly at them and mm -hmm. said, but that was about the only time that was like the most godly they ever were. Right. Bow down to him alone and offer sacrifices only to him, he says of himself. Be careful at all times to obey the decrees, regulations, instructions, and commands that he wrote for you. You must not worship other gods. Do not forget the covenant I made with you and do not worship other gods. You must worship only the Lord your God. He is the one who will rescue you from all your enemies. My God. He I'm, is full of himself. I'm the one that's going to rescue you, even though I don't. Like, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. You owe me big forever. Like, get over yourself, God. Right? Just do it, man. Yeah. Or like, or don't. Right. Go the fuck away. Yeah. Whatever. But the people would not listen and continue to follow their former practices. So while these new residents worship the Lord, they also worship their idols. And to this day... Their descendants do the same. The end. I don't get it. Like, I could be... Look, okay. I'm God, right? You're so, God. I'm sure. God. Sure. I will be great if you do these things. And if you don't, then I will not. Okay. And then once you do those things, I will be kind of okay sometimes, sort of, but only then just a little bit. But then once you're bad again after that, then I'll be bad again. Hold on. If I um, worship you, does that mean that... There will be no more mi miscarriages. No. Like, um, 
Will there be no more famines? No. What about rape? No. Will anything change? No. The better? No. Fuck off. Worship me. What do I get out of it? Nothing. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right? Like, I mean, that's a, it's just, it, fuck this guy. Like He just he just wants you to like like him because he wants to be liked. Like, no, I don't want to like you, dude. You're kind of stupid mean. and You're asshole. mean and stupid and right. mean. Yeah. I don't like you. So go, go away now. Yeah. Leave me alone. Or kill me, whatever. Right. Yeah, just pick one, man. Just do something. Do something. Anything. Anything. <laughs> All right, all right. That was uh, Second Kings chapter seventeen, mm-hmm. and tomorrow we'll be back with Second Kings chapter eighteen. And we'll see you guys then. Yep. Bye. Hey, wife. I guess that's the end. But husband, that's just sad. It doesn't have to be. We are on lots of social media platforms like Twitter. Our handle there is sacrilegious underscore d for d's nuts. Oh my god. Stop doing that. Anyway, we're also on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. There's a link to all of our social media sites at our website. Ooh, we have a website? Yeah, it's sacrilegiousdiscourse.com, where you can also find a link to our merch shop. We have a merch shop? Yep. We have podcast-themed clothing, mugs, notebooks, and more, as well as an atheist and science-themed products. Wow, our fans should really go check that out right now. Definitely. They can get in touch with us by sending an email to sacrilegiousdiscourse at gmail.com. But before they do that, we could really use some help. Oh, yeah? With what? Well, it's not free running the podcast, and we need some financial support in order to get better equipment, which will free up time so we can concentrate on our podcast and our fans. Okay, so what should they do? Head over to patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse and sign up as a contributor on our podcast. Supporters there receive additional bi-weekly episodes that we record just for our Patreon members for as little as $2 a month. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe on whatever platform you're using. And Apple Podcast Reviews help us out tremendously. Like and subscribe. Leave an Apple review. Join us on Twitter. Support us on Patreon. That's a lot of instructions. Don't forget to say thanks. Thanks. Okay, bye.